Greeting everyone, and welcome to the August 22nd message from Wall Gospel Mission Church. As you may or may not know, on top of the pandemic ever-increasing fuel and food prices, worldwide floods, wildfires, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and high tides, we can now add Afghanistan crisis to the list. All these were prophesied in the Bible that would come in the end times that we currently live in. However, it truly is not the end of the world yet, as we will learn today in the Word of God. Let's start off with the words from Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Today's word comes from Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1 through 5. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow unto it and many people shall go and say come me and let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of zion shall go forth the law and the word of the lord from jerusalem and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, we are here in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to hear your word. May the Holy Ghost anoint each and every listening everyone listening to the words of prophecy with your spirit of wisdom and understanding this very moment. And also please bless everyone who hears and keeps every word of truth in the table of their hearts today, Lord. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When Jesus taught the Jews about what to pray for, In Matthew 6, verse 10, he told them to pray, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Prophet Isaiah prophesied of what would happen when the will of Father God of Israel would be done, according to Isaiah 2, verse 2 and 3. And it shall come to pass in the last days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all all nations shall flow unto it. 
and many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The last days spoken of in the Bible refer to the last week, the last seven years, prophesied through prophet Daniel. These seven years are the period of the Great Tribulation. At the end of the seven-year tribulation, the Lord Jesus Christ returns to judge the sinful world and removes the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the devil who is currently ruling the world. Thus the end of the world shall come to pass. When Jesus spoke to his disciples of the end of the world, concerning the end of the world, when the devil, who has been ruling the world for the past 6,000 years, is taken away from the earth. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. And then verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And then finally verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Prophet Isaiah testified, The mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. He testified when the Lord Jesus Christ appears at the end of the last days. He will build his temple as well as his kingdom in Jerusalem to be exalted above the hills where all nations and kingdoms shall be. Starting on that day, he will reign the whole world as the king of the kings and lord of lords. As a prophet, King David also prophesied of the future coming of Jesus Christ as king of the all the earth. Psalm chapter 2, verse 2 through 9. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. It was prophesied that during this time all nations would go up to the temple in Jerusalem, where the king of all the earth, Lord Jesus Christ, dwells, and will learn and walk according to the laws that he will teach. Jesus also foretold of the blessed in his future kingdom when he comes to the earth as king. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 12. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into, the, into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they, do, they, they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. 
Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. The kingdom of heaven Jesus spoke of is the millennial kingdom of Christ on earth that will be established in the future. Jesus had preached, Repent ye, the kingdom of heaven is near. However, the Jews did not repent, but rather executed their king of the kingdom on the cross. That is the reason why the kingdom of heaven has been postponed until he establishes millennial kingdom after he judges all the people of all nations. Then the kingdom of heaven will be done here on earth, thus fulfilling the prayer that we read earlier, his will be done in earth as done in heaven. Prophet Zechariah prophesied that in the kingdom of Jesus Christ, Every feast of tabernacles, all nations shall go up to Jerusalem year after year to worship Jesus Christ, the Lord of hosts. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 16 through 19. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. And it shall be that whoso will not come up all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not that have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Prophet, uh, Prophet Isaiah also prophesied that there would be no war, but peace would come when God's will be done on earth. Isaiah 2 verse 4 And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. During the days of prophet Isaiah, prophet Micah also prophesies of end of wars and time of peace, just as Pro uh, Isaiah prophesied. He prophesied of the blessing of the remnant of Israel that had been driven out to be lame for a long time. Micah chapter 4 verse 4 through 7 But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken it. For all people will walk every one in the name of his God, and we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. In that day, saith the Lord, will I assemble her that halteth, and I will gather her that is driven out, and her that I have afflicted. And I will make her the halted a remnant, and her that was cast far off a strong nation. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth, even forever. Apostle Paul testified of the will of God where all things in heaven and earth to be one in Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, 
according to his good pleasure which he hath proposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Apostle John testified of an angel coming down from heaven to lay hold on the dragon, that old serpent, the devil for 1,000 years until the end of the millennial kingdom. Revelation chapter 20, verse 1 through 3. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on that dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more, till a thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosed a little season. The New World Order forces have established the United Nations in order to unite with all the Gentile nations falsely claiming that they will achieve world peace by ending all wars. Located across from their New York headquarters, they have engraved the words of Isaiah 2 verse 4 on a granite wall known as the Isaiah Wall. They have deceived and conspired against the entire world in order to receive the Antichrist for world peace. But their conspiracy shall inevitably be judged and come to an end when the millennial kingdom of Jesus Christ arrives here on earth. That wonderful day when God's will is fulfilled on earth. Prophet Ezekiel said the day when God's will is done on earth, the temple of God will be built in Jerusalem. Written in Ezekiel chapter 40 to 46. And the twelve tribes of Israel shall inherit the land of Palestine as God promised in his Abrahamic covenant. This is the real estate deal he promised with Abraham, which is the area covering from uh, Great River Euphrates down to the river of Egypt. It is written in Genesis 15 verse 18. He also prophesied that from that day on, the name of the city, the city of Jerusalem shall be, the Lord is there, Jehovah Shammah. Jesus will return soon. He will come for his church first, the, the saved bride of Christ, before he allows the great tribulation to start here on earth. He will then return on his second coming with the church to destroy the unbelieving world. He invites everyone to escape the coming wrath of the tribulation and be with the God the Father. Admit you're a sinner for not believing in the blood shed by Jesus. Repent and believe in this gospel how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Pray for wisdom and understanding of the Holy Bible, and let Jesus lead you in truth and spirit. Jesus is waiting for you even today. The day of salvation is now and today. God bless.